Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am so excited about today's project because it's a super easy way to make a Hunter Star. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. So the Hunter Star is, I mean it just looks so complicated and it has several different secondary blocks and one is this little arrow block right here that you just you know you that's what makes it the hunter star and so I'm going to show you a super easy way to do this what we've done is we've made four patches and star blocks so just by doing that we simplified the whole process so to make this quilt what you're going to need is one packet of 10 inch squares of a print fabric and we've used Tucker Prairie by One Canoe 2 for Moda Fabrics beautiful line you're also going to need 42 10 inch squares of a background fabric just like this now one of the things I love about pre-cuts is their versatility so even though we're using a layer cake we're going to be cutting this down into four five inch squares and which is the size of a charm pack so you could actually buy four charms as well I happen to have a layer cake so that's what I use but don't you know don't hesitate to use your charms if you already have those because that's what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down so right now what I've done is I'm I've got my my square centered up on my mat and I'm going to cut it into four or five inch squares and I'm going to do this to all my pieces the whole the whole layer cake is going to be cut up so we're going to cut here I'm going to turn this again I'm just going to line it up these lines help me keep it nice and square and then we're going to come in and cut again now the first block we're going to make is the four patch it's the easiest it's the quickest and um, it's just simple so a four patch is made by using two squares a light and a dark you've got your you've got your contrast right there and then adding two more to it that are also light and dark so what you're going to do is you're going to sew these two seams together and then you're going to sew this one together to make a four patch so let's go to the sewing machine and do that so we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch right here right along this side you can press if you want uh, and press you you don't want to keep that seam to the dark side make sure that your colors are opposite you know sides and then we're going to put these two together and make sure that middle seam nests so again I'm just going to take a few stitches to anchor and then I'm going to check underneath here to make sure my seams are lined up and I can feel with my finger that there's no room in between those nesting seams and I'm going to go ahead and sew a quarter of an inch all the way down all right now let's go press this and we're going to press this open I like to press from the top to make sure that there's no folds in any of my seams because fold is going to change the size of your block then you can flip it over and make your your seams go any way you want and I'm just gonna put mine that way now you can see this is your four patch and your four patches are done you're gonna make 28 of those and we're just gonna set that aside because now that whole set of blocks is done you're gonna make 28 of those so next you get to make one of these stars now these stars they're beautiful and they look like you worked so hard but you really didn't so here's how we're gonna do these these are gonna be made out of half square triangles and you guys know when I make half square triangles what I like to do is I like to put my squares right sides together sew all the way around it a quarter of an inch and then cut it diagonally both directions now I've already sewn this so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this real quick like so we're cutting this way and we're cutting this way and now we're going to press these open and I just like to bring them all over here make sure my dark fabric is on the top you can set your seams all at once and then you're just going to roll them back one more here and then this guy over here all right now these squares need to be these I mean these half square triangles need to be trimmed down to two and three quarter it's not really a big deal um, find a ruler this is really important actually find a ruler that makes sense to your eyes because a lot of times if you're struggling to find that line you know sometimes you need a ruler that just makes a little bit more sense to you so what I'm doing with this one and I'm gonna square it is I am laying this on this ruler the half inch marks are marked with the red so I know I need to go a quarter of an inch beyond the red 
and I'm looking at this lining my center line up on that seam quarter of an inch beyond the red and I'm going to go ahead and trim this off like this and you're going to do this to all your little half square triangles we want them to be two and three quarters so we're going to do this and this helps make your blocks they just come out perfect when you square up your blocks now I have a set of blocks over here that's all squared up and ready to go and what we're going to be doing is making this block so we're going to make this block four times and um, and rotate it around it's a super easy way to make this star so we've got four of these right here now there's going to be a diagram for you because this is it's really important you're going to make two sets of stars one's going to go one way one's going to go the other way that's what gives this little arrow look right here is the is the stars that go the other direction so I'm a little angly challenged so I hope hopefully I've worked out all the bugs for you and you can do this so when I put these together you'll use your diagram and then I keep a block right next to me and make them all look like the same block so I have two squares that are going up like this my my printed fabric is on the top to going to the right and the third one is going to the right and this guy right here goes down so it makes that long piece like that so let me sew this together for you we're, going to, we're just going to sew these two and then we're going to sew these two and then we're going to sew it together like a four patch so let's go to the sewing machine this is such a great way to do this because it makes a really um, a quilt that's kind of complicated go together really easily One of the things I love about doing uh, blocks, uh, my half square triangles this way, is that they have a little bit of give to them. And you're able to, um, they have a little bit of give, so you're able to make them fit. So now we have these two pieces. We're going to go ahead and sew them together. Make sure that all your pieces are going up, and then this one's going down. And we're going to just sew them, get a little uh, anchoring stitch here. And I'm going to make sure these middles line up. And it's just like sewing four little half squares to triangles, four little half square triangles together to make this little block. Now let's iron this open. And you can iron as you go along as well. All right. So once you get four of these done, you are ready to make your block. And I have four of them done right here. So let me show you how this works. We're going to use the same block, but it's going to rotate every time. So here's our block right here. The next block is just going to turn this way. See how all of a sudden now you have opposites. You, if, you're, if your colors ever line up, you know it's in the wrong place. So again, this way, and we're going to turn it. And then finally, we're going to turn this one, and it makes that star. And so there you have it right there. So now we're just going to sew this together like a four patch. And we'll have our whole star block. Okay, so now you've finished your star block. You're going to make 12 of these, and then you're going to have to make 16 of the next star. Now the next star, you want to pay really close attention because it looks a lot like this, but it's going to be a different star and a different diagram. So let's look carefully at this. So the next one, we, there'll be a diagram for this, so you want to keep your eye out on that diagram, and you want to also watch what I'm doing right here because now my colors points are going to the left on the last one they went to the right you can see right here on these they went to the right on this one they're going to the left so it works exactly the same way but we you have to make this a star that's going the other direction so that you have that that uh, hunter star that happens so see here we have two that are going the color is going up to the left up to the left like this and then this guy over here in this corner comes down so it, just watch that really carefully because this is what makes the pattern all come together. So then you're going to make your star. You're going to have them all sewn together, and you're going to have 
your opposite star, remember you rotate it around just like this and just like this. There we go. I thought that looked a little weird. All right, so now we have this secondary star that goes the other direction, and you're going to need 12 of those. So let me show you how this goes together because this is so, so cool. So let's, let's put together this first row, and we are going to lay this out. We've got a star and a four patch. Now it matters what direction your four patches lay, so they're all going to go to the upper left. You've got your star and your four patch, just like this. So this is this top row right here. Star and see these four patches are all going up to the, the whole row. They all go up to the left, the whole row. So then we're ready to add our next row. And we're going to go ahead and pull this out right here. And so we have a star, I'm sorry, a four patch and a star and a four patch and a star. Now you'll notice that this is the second set of stars and our four patches are now going the opposite direction. You want them to checkerboard right here. You want them to colors to come off. But this is what gives you that arrow block that's in the Hunter star right here. You can see that arrow block right there. And you can see it again over here, right here. And it just gives you that Hunter star look without the Hunter star work. So keep laying it out. You're going to have seven across by eight down. So eight rows, seven in each row, 56 total blocks. It's going to give you a quilt that is 80 by 100. So that's a pretty good size quilt. We're going to add a two and a half inch border on the outside of our blocks here, a nice stop border. You'll need three quarters of a yard of fabric for that. And you're going to add a five inch border on the outside and you'll need about a yard and a half for that. And your quilt comes together and you have made the Hunter Star. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Easy Hunter Star from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.